Once upon a time, a long time ago, in the 1800s, there was a dreamer. The dreamer had a dream of one day capturing all the beauty in the fleeting moments of this finite and quickly ending life. He dreamt of creating a machine to hold memories locked in time for others to ponder, to remember, to study, and to share their own dreams. This dreamer was Louis Le Prince. He had no idea his machine would later dub him as the true inventor of motion picture film. First it's best to know a little about Louis Le Prince, so we'll talk a little about his background. Second, we'll take a look at his camera inventions and some timelines. Lastly, we'll talk about his mysterious disappearance. Louis Le Prince was born in Metz, a city situated on the beautiful river banks of Moselle and Seille rivers in northeastern France on August 28, 1841. Two main highlights happened during this time. He was the son of a French military officer in an order called Léon d'Honneur, which originated by the hands of Napoleon Bonaparte in 1802. A friend of Le Prince Sr. tutored the young Le Prince in photography and chemistry lessons. This mentor was Louise Jacques Monde de Guerre, most famous for his contributions to photography and the invention of daguerreotype photography, which is one of the oldest forms of photography next to the heliograph. In 1866, after studying the craft of painting in Paris and then chemistry in Leipzig University, the prince was invited by a college friend, John Whitley, to work with him at the family company Whitley Partners in the city of Leeds in England. It was there he met his wife, Elizabeth Whitley, John's sister, whom he married in 1869. With Elizabeth coincidentally being a talented artist herself, the couple, in Round Hay Cottage, opened their first school of applied art in 1874. In 1875, the Le Princes and their students showcased Chinaware at Yorkshire Exhibition of Arts and Manufacture. Chinaware was created with a special kiln. In 1877, the prince used private means to move his growing family of six children and three servants to a large house at 33 Park Square in Leeds, England, where they established the Technical School of Applied Art. Only two years later, they had become widely recognized for their beautiful work and dazzling techniques in applying color photography onto metal and pottery. Their work became so well known and desired that they attracted the likes of Queen Victoria and W. E. Gladstone to have their portraits done and placed into the foundation stone of Cleopatra's Needle in London in 1878. While living in Leeds, Louis Le Prince became a member of the Leeds Philosophical and Literary Society, which itself was founded in 1819 for the city's scientific, literary, and historical inquiry. The society continues to flourish. In July 2015, they received the Louis Le Prince papers from his great great granddaughter, Lori Schneider. The papers showed a collection of technical drawings and notes describing diagrams of his motion picture camera and possibly places he wanted to film, indicated by the extensive list on his diagram. The Prince finished out his contract with Whitley Partners in 1881 and moved to the United States where he managed a small group of artists. It was then about this time 
that Le Prince really began working on his experiments of the moving picture. His achievements were his 16 lens camera and then a single lens camera. The 16 lens camera had the ability to film motion, but not without flaw. The image captured was photographed from a slightly different angle in reference to the location of each lens, which made it unstable. Le Prince again moved his family back to Leeds in 1887, and in late 1888, he built the single lens camera. He used this new camera, October 14, 1888, to shoot the world's first recorded motion picture of life. It would later come to be known as the Round Hay Garden Scene. The footage is an actuality film that portrays real people, places, and events as they actually are without a story. The film features Louis' son, his mother-in-law, father-in-law, and most likely a friend of the family. Ten days later, his mother-in-law, Sarah Whitley, passed away. The sequence was recorded using Eastman Kodak paper-based photographic film at 7 frames per second. The original negative was lost, but not before the National Science Museum in London produced a photographic plate copy in 1930 from 20 frames. In recent times, a YouTube creator remastered the historic recording with modern technology. Here it is. His quest of inventing the camera was a magnificent feat, but ultimately, Le Prince would not see the success of his innovation until later in history. During this time in 1890, other inventors were also working to win the race and make the first real motion picture, like Thomas Edison and Edward Muybridge, who both met together. Muybridge offered collaboration on Zupraxiscope and the phonograph, but Edison declined to pursue success on his own. Le Prince, with a breakthrough in his masterpiece, was due to give a live public performance in 1890 at the Morris Jumel Mansion in New York. However, he mysteriously vanished after visiting his brother Albert that year in France. Albert, the last person to have seen Le Prince alive, stated that his brother had boarded the Dijon to Paris train in September 1890. When the train arrived in Paris, a group of friends waited for the excited new inventor of the motion picture to arrive, but he never showed up. The French police, along with Le Prince's family, searched feverishly for him, but to no avail. In May 1891, less than a year later, Edison goes public with the results of his new experiments with motion picture. In 1894, Edison is credited in the U.S. as the inventor of cinema with his kinetoscope parlor. The Lumiere brothers in France were recognized as the inventors of the cinematograph in 1895. In 1898, his wife and children tried to resume progress of his discovery and contended with Edison in court when Edison tried to sue others claiming that he was the first and only inventor of cinematography. During the proceedings, the prince's son was not allowed to present his father's cameras as evidence, 
and the court cited in favor of Edison. The court did allow the prince to show his father's film, Round Hay Garden Scene, from 1888, featuring Sarah Whitley, who died the same year, with proof of a death certificate. Although this clearly proved that Le Prince established a motion picture years before Edison, the court still granted Edison favor due to technicalities in the patent filing and lack of understanding of the technology at the time. According to Thomas McGann, a writer for the Fire Island News, in a 2021 column titled Murder, Suicide, in Pointe Woods, Le Prince's son was found shot to death in the Pointe Woods vacation hamlet next to the family cottage in Fire Island, New York. This was shortly after Edison's victory in 1901. McGann postulates, was it a murder or suicide? Just like his father, no determination as to what had happened has ever been made. Elizabeth, the prince's wife, was convinced it was another murder and Edison was responsible because he knew that Le Prince's son knew too much. In the end, Le Prince was a man of vision that was born in France, but he is still revered as the first inventor of the motion picture. His two cameras will forever serve as a grim relic in the field, and his mysterious disappearance will haunt the truth of its birth. Thank you for watching.